awesome chat is brought to you by sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and listeners like you support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here coming from Squirrel Hill for your awesome chat this week. And we're going to talk about cloning here in a moment. But of course, please check out everything at awesomecast.com. Subscribe to this and other shows over on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, as well as the video versions on the Awesome Cast uh, Facebook and YouTube page. And please support us, patreon.com slash awesomecast, so we can get out on the town like this a little bit more, uh, keep the lights on at the studio, and bring you guys more awesome casts and tips and everything else that we're doing. So we're at We Clone You here, and, and please introduce yourselves. I'm Tara Sherman, and this is my husband. Todd Sherman. <laughs> and the, you are you guys are into cloning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what is We Clone You. So we make figurines of you we have a scanner it's behind us here um it has 89 cameras 25 projectors it takes your picture from every direction all at once and then it stitches those pictures together to make a 3d model and from that model we can 3d print figurines that's awesome. So, so I, I ran into you guys. You guys have been at all the cons l- lately, mm-hmm. um, and and you can't miss them because there's there's this giant there's this <laughs> giant mechanism like what's behind us here um, that you guys is this the like do you do you guys break this down and you bring it to the the cons? We do. It takes about um, I think we've gotten it down to about a half an hour for the teardown. Okay. Set up. It's about an hour. Um, there are three of us doing the work, but yeah. Yeah, we fit it all in the back of my um, Subaru, Al- um, not Outback, what do I have? Forrester. Yeah. <laughs> not to be an ad for Forrester, but uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about the technology. You know, I, I'm like, you know, it really kind of mm-hmm. stands out when you're, you're uh, you know, passing a booth and you see these things in person, like these are really detailed and, and, you know, when it comes to it. And this thing looks like, you know, if you looked at behind the scenes of the Matrix and how they, they recorded like a lot of those scenes. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's really impressive. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about that technology that's 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 here and how did you come across this well actually i ran across it on the internet so somebody had sent me a dilbert cartoon Mm -hmm. in an email i was at work i don't know if i should say that so i was looking at this dilbert cartoon in my email i said oh this is funny i'm gonna take a few minutes and check out the website so i looked at the website and i'm reading these cartoons and there's all these ads in between the cartoons and i thought this is so annoying all these ads and then there was this ad for these figurines that look like people i'm and it caught my eye. I said, what is this? So I looked into it, found there's a company in San Francisco that's building these scanners. Um, I brought the idea home to Todd, which I do often. I bring him these crazy ideas. And he usually says, that's crazy. And we don't, you know, that's the end of it. But he said, oh, this is kind of cool. So we looked into it some more. We talked to people who are doing it around the country. And um, we thought this would be great for us to do. Todd's a wedding photographer. He's been doing that for about 15 years. I do brain imaging for work. So it kind of merged the two things together. Okay. So yeah, so we found it. A month later, we owned the system. <laughs> and that, that has to add a little bit, you know, your backgrounds have to add a little bit into like, doing this right a little bit too, right? Like as far as posing, as far as yes. send people up, I mean, you're always doing it for your photography, right? So mm-hmm. yeah, and I think we have a good mix of kind of a technical background mm-hmm. and the business background with Todd's photography. So all of that, yeah, all of that background really helped us out a okay. lot. Well, again, a little bit into the process. So mm-hmm. there's a, how many cameras again? There are 89 cameras and mm-hmm. 25 projectors. Okay. And so it, it's based on Raspberry Pi. Um, there are specially designed cameras in each pull. Um, and then there are also LED strips for the lighting. The projectors project, and you may notice that when you're looking at the video of yourself being scanned, they project a pattern of dark shadow and light over your body. And that kind of builds that um, the 3D model. And then the cameras take the, the photograph, and that puts the um, photographic quality to it. So then when they're printed, they're printed just like this. Mm-hmm. Um, there are only two printers on the market that print in full photographic quality at the moment. Um, 
and these are printed on sandstone. So each layer, it's layer by layer, layer of sand, and then where the um, kind of, if you look at the outline, it prints that first outline with just a little bit of um, adhesive in the ink. Okay. And then layer by layer, and there's like a big block of sand. They suck the sand away, and you're left with this very fragile, at that point, figurine. They take it out, dip it into some adhesive, and then we have these finished figurines. Oh, wow. And this actually is Todd's daughter, Claire. And we have a couple of her. She's kind of our so was mascot. Was she the, she the te test subject for this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, here, here yeah. honey. Sit, <laughs> sit in this machine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have definitely um, experimented on her quite a bit. Um, and it is obviously perfectly safe though. Um, mm -hmm. just cameras and projectors. So That's awesome. it's no different than taking a photograph. So I think we were talking on one of the cons, uh, about like, you know, what is the, you know, this is a 3d file that gets generated out of this thing. Right. And mm -hmm. you can do a lot of different things with that. Yes. Yeah, so we can, um, we aren't doing much with that at this point. We've mm -hmm. just been too busy. It's something I do want to get into, but, um, we just haven't had the time yet. Um, we are both working full time and doing this kind of full time as well on top of that. Um, so we, but we do sell the OBJ files as well. So anybody who has a 3d background can purchase the OBJ file and then do whatever they want with that. And we have had several people who have purchased those and have some ideas of things that they want to do. So we're That's kind of awesome. excited to see what other people. So it's not, you know, not just the models. Like there, there is like mm -hmm. a kind of an outlet for there being maybe, you know, another kind of, you know, uh, a model with this, I guess. Right. So, so, so you've been out, you've been out, you, you, you had this in front of people. They're seeing the models and everything. What's the reaction been? What, what, what are the, the interesting questions you get in the, in the public at all these cons? Cause I, I've seen you again, three rivers con. <laughs> uh, I think you said you were at steel city con, uh, replay effects. I know you guys were there. Um, you have, they have some really interesting stories from, from meeting the people and showing this off. Yeah. Um, some people are afraid of it. We have had a few people who refuse to get inside because it does they're look afraid. A, it doesn't look like, a lot like that x-ray scanner that people were kind of worried about at the airport. So Right, yes. And we've had people ask questions about mm -hmm. that. You know, is it does it have x-rays? Does it have is there radiation? Mm -hmm. Nope, it's just cameras. Um so people are sometimes afraid. People are people are often afraid to see what they look like in you know 360 degrees, but after you do it it often isn't quite as painful as you think it's going to be. A lot of people uh, come up and say, um, how long does it take to hand paint these? Mm -hmm. And then we have to explain that the color is actually in the sand. Um, so, you know, which is, you can see um, on the muscle man here, I always show people the elephant because you can see he was wearing an elephant t-shirt and mm -hmm. you can actually see, you know, the full print on there. So, if someone was to hand paint that, it would take, you know, days or something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, this I always explain to them that the color is in the sand, done layer by layer, so you can get incredible detail. Um, another thing, another funny thing that people ask us at the comic cons is, th they say, "Oh, this is amazing! Can you make me as a uh, Darth Vader?" And I try to explain to them, um, "No, actually, it's you. It's exactly what you're wearing is what you're going to be." So I explain, "This is how." Uh, these people were dressed at a comic con. Mm -hmm. So I, I explain if you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, you'll come out with shorts and a t-shirt. And for, for those on audio, like we, we, there's a couple in stormtrooper outfits holding their helmets and they, it looks incredible. So, and, and as far as like the size that you print out, like that's just something you can decide later, right? Right. You can do uh, from three inches to 14 inches right now. We have had ask, uh, people ask if they can do a uh, full, you know, full body length, uh, the size of them. And I said, that would probably be about, you know, nine or $10,000. <laughs> well, the, the, the printer, like the, the printer is big enough to do something like that. No, so no, the, I think 14 inches is mm -hmm. the maximum right now. But eventually, you know, maybe, yeah, one day that has some, interesting implications that the mind could go wild with uh, <laughs> um awesome so you you make the file and i, I think you know we talked to, talk about that mall because you, you you're getting people scanned and they're not necess necessarily like buying a figure right then or anything like that like you're getting them right so um 
you know, at the Comic Cons, we, we typically charge about five dollars for a scan, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, we want to try to get everybody, you know, as many people as we can scan because we try to explain to them, um, you don't need to buy a figurine today. Once you're scanned, you're scanned for life, which means you can wait till your birthday next year or Christmas. Just click on the email we send you, decide how many inches you want it, and uh, basically it's shipped to your house in two to three weeks. That's awesome, and I think because um, I think you sent me some stuff and I shared it off on the awesome cast like there's a little kind of like gif or something of the 3d that you guys send out i believe yeah so everybody who gets scanned gets a really amazing uh spinning gif file 3d gif file sent to their email and these can uh, typically be shared on facebook and twitter and um you know a lot of people just think that that's amazing in itself and they just come in for the picture and they Mm -hmm. share that on uh, social media and they're extremely happy to have a actual 3d spinning file of themselves which is great because they people ask where you got that from and they point them to you guys sure yeah so, that's great uh how long have you been doing this so i think we got the machine about the end of february and then we uh set up down here in the next like week or two after that and then you know worked out a few kinks mm-hmm. and uh actually there's a funny story with the kinks um we uh we set the whole thing up and you know we put my daughter in for some test scans and like so if if the uh all the cameras in the and the um video um projectors aren't working exactly properly you might wind up with someone with a, a half a body or their half of their head missing so we were really perplexed we were like wow um you know everything's the flashes are going off perfectly why are we having someone with a half a body so we we actually called the owner who makes who makes the machine and we're like, you know, everything seems to be working properly except, you know, the pictures are coming out with only half a body. Or- we, we actually, before we called him, we went to Joanne Fabrics because I read through the manual, you know, mm-hmm. and what are the things that could be causing this? So we went through every step. One thing that it said was to make sure, you know, you have to cover, you might want to cover the um, machine with fabric, which is what we do when we're at shows because with the movement in the background and the changing lights, that can affect the scans. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we ran, it was right before they closed, we ran to Joanne Fabrics, bought all this fabric, taped it up around that, still didn't work. And that's when we called the owner and we're like, this isn't working. And they are very responsive. I will give them that. So we called him and we said, you know, we don't, we don't understand what's happening. And he looked at it and he said, oh, it might be your electricity is, you know, there's some variation in it the electrical output and that could be causing this which could definitely definitely affect leds right yeah and we were really concerned about that because you know this is we just got this space and you know we want to stay here and what will we do so he was reviewing the photos that we took and he said oh i see the problem you didn't take the caps off the projectors (laughs) so all of the projectors (laughs) still had their caps on um, so that was a learning experience. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah. So since February, um, yeah, we've learned a lot in that time. Mm-hmm. And um, um, one interesting thing is, um, so we have about a 98% uh, success rate. Right. Um, when we take pictures, but sometimes someone will come in with a costume. Certain things are not good for 3D, such as shiny objects. Okay. Uh, metal gold, silver, stuff like that. So so some people's costumes, uh, you know, just might not work. So we always tell them, you know, come in, get scanned. We'll, we'll take a look at it. So like holding you know. a pistol or a sword perhaps is probably not going to work well for this. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes it depends does. On the material. It depends on the material and it just depends on like the thickness. Okay. So anything that's less than, I think, an inch, it's iffy. And anything that's shiny. But some swords we've had, um, in fact, he's over there. Oh, no, he has a hammer. Thor has a hammer. Um, it wasn't shiny, so that worked. Um, we've had some shields that worked, some swords that worked. But anything that's too shiny won't. So the furry convention is potentially not out, right? Oh, no, actually. <laughs> and we have scanned some people in furry costumes. Awesome. And they came out great. Um, the problem with that show is that you have to... Um, you have to sign up for the show months in advance. Mm-hmm. And by the time we had the machine, they were already filled. 
So that was the disappointment that we weren't able to get in uh, there. So next year, I think we'll definitely. Be that's there. awesome. I can't wait to see those. Yeah, uh, that that'd be great just by mm-hmm. itself. Yeah. Um, what is you know other than that? You know, obviously you've had furries, but what is the most interesting thing you've had scanned so far? Weirdest, interesting. Oh, we've had several. Um, we d- at at Replay FX, we had somebody on a unicycle, um, and we <laughs> actually did guy. scan him on his unicycle, mm-hmm. but he wasn't co- able to hold it quite long enough mm-hmm. for the scan. So um, we have one of him with his unicycle, which we had to be um, kind of satisfied with that. Um, what else have we had? Just a lot of people and some. A lot of people in just some really amazing outfits. Uh, we we actually scanned a, a guy who, you know, it took him weeks and weeks to make his own costume and his daughter's costume, and he actually won a contest. Um, at was that Three Rivers? Yes. So we were doing. Uh, we offered to do uh, some free figurines for the winners of the oh, costume contest. That's awesome. So I mean, we've done you know probably hundreds of people in amazing costumes that you know i'd say that that's been you know really fun but the funny thing is um you know people come up in their you know dressed in shorts and a t-shirt and the and they're like oh yeah this is great but you know i'm not wearing a costume and i try to explain to people that we actually scan just as many people in shorts and t-shirts and jeans as as we do um people in full costumes and cosplay and we actually sell just as many um to people who are in jeans and t-shirts and shorts um as we do you know to people who are in full costume i always see the um i saw my replay as well like there's always the um you know make your own action figure thing and this is like another level beyond that yeah yeah and what um the company the local company that does that um go figure their figurines are great Mm -hmm. um it's a different concept oh yeah you know if you want if you want to be a stormtrooper and you don't have a stormtrooper costume you want to go to them. <laughs> right. If you want to come in in what you have, a costume or, you know, you're playing clothes, then you come to us. Um, and, yeah, as Todd was saying, it surprised us, actually, that people were just as likely to purchase a figurine in their, you know, T-shirt and jeans. But I think the other thing that surprised me is I think I like those figurines better myself sometimes. I mean, the costumes are fun, but when you see that person kind of just in their jeans and their t-shirt, especially if it's somebody, you know, like the figurines of my daughter or my stepdaughter, um, on our counter or on my shelf in my office and you walk by those and it just looks like that person, you know, she's standing there with, you know, her hands on her hips, just like she would if she was standing there in the office. It's a little, you know, it's, it's, um, a little bit disorienting sometimes, Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think, and people often ask, you know, they get in and they're like, oh, how should I pose? I don't know what to do. But sometimes just that natural pose, just standing like you would normally be standing um, is what comes out the best. So if people want to get scanned uh, or whatever else they want to yeah. do with this uh, to get a hold of you guys, uh, where can they find you? Uh, you can call um, our phone number, which goes to Todd, mm-hmm. or you can um, send an email to our email, uh, which I typically respond to. We try to respond fairly quickly. Um but that's the best can, way. And you can find us on Facebook. Yes, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. But the best way to reach us would be either to, to set up an appointment is either calling Todd or emailing me. And we um, don't have set hours. It's pretty much appointment only, but we're very flexible. Um, we clone you 3D.com. The email, though, is we clone you at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here uh, on the Awesome Channel. Let, let, letting us come in and, and, and see the machine and everything. Yeah, thanks for coming so, in. So thank you for the scan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, checking this out. Check out all the past interviews we've done over the last couple of years here on the Awesome Channel over at awesomecast.com. Thank, for, thank you also to Rob Brown for coming in and assisting with technology. Uh, with the hey, Yeah, that's you behind yeah. the camera, Rob. Uh, <laughs> and helping out as well. Thank you to my guests. Uh, Uh, Thank you to my awesome guests. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.